Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. Today, we fitted at my alma mater, USC. Shay was my first dancer that I saw at the day, and she just blew me away because she is insanely hypermobile. She had just seen a physical therapist, and she scored nine out of nine in the hypermobility scale. If you're hypermobile, that just means that you're very, very bendy. I don't have hypermobility. I'm a normie. So this is what I look like. This is what Shay looks like. Oh my God. So <laughs> did you know that you have hypermobility? I knew like people would always tell me like, oh my gosh, I think you're double jointed. Yeah, it's no. like not, yeah. okay. not the same. No, <laughs> not the same. This is me and this is my knee. And this is pretty normal. I'm just straight enough so that I can like pull up my kneecaps. Range of motion in my ankle is pretty straight, but there's nothing more than that. And this is Shay. Oh! <laughs> if you're dancing like this, there's a lot of pressure on your knees. You have your hips, knees, and your ankles and your toes all straight up and down. You're stacked one on top of each other, so there's a lot more stability. I go straight down. I have pretty easy balance and pretty easy alignment. But when Shay goes up on point, she's actually balancing on blocks that kind of look like this. So it's much less stable, and there's a lot more pressure on your joints. With dancers like Shay, we have to be very careful because how often do you twist your ankles? Quite, quite often. <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't even hurt you that much. No, right? it doesn't okay. hurt. Alignment is a very important thing. Stability is also very, very important for dancers like Shay. So generally, I give them bigger platforms, higher wings, higher vamp, a much stiffer shoe, and also something that can bend without breaking. You break shoes very quickly, I, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's because her feet bends so severely, she just cracks shoes. So point shoes are not going to last very long for her. <laughs> so I'm gonna get her something that is stability just all around, 360 stability, top, side, bottom, and in the front as well when you get up on points. Almost every brand has something a little bit higher vamp, higher wings, stronger shank, wider platform. Thank you. You're a freshman this year, right? Yes, I'm a freshman. She started this year! <laughs> If I haven't hammered this into our audience already, I went to USC like 10 years ago, so I'm like super stoked to be here. Bring your left foot up on point. Step up onto both feet. So we check a couple of the boxes here. Longer vamp, longer wings, wider platform, harder shank. The one thing I couldn't fix all the way was the twisting. So I still yeah. have the twisting, but I think I would rather have stability and longevity over the twisting. You twist in everything though, right? Basically everything. Yeah, basically yeah. everything. There's certain foot types that do that. Sometimes it just goes away, and sometimes, unfortunately, it doesn't. Do you feel like you have to kind of bend your knee sometimes? A little bit, yeah. yeah. So show me what your straightest knee look like. This is. This is the straightest knee, and then how do you normally balance? So you balance About this here. way. Yeah. So this is actually a safer move. A lot of people want straight, straight, straight knees, but for dancers like this, because there's so much pressure on their knees that it's better to kind of stand this way. So you kind of learn to work with your body. This is actually more common than you think. A lot of times you are not really diagnosed correctly if you have some kind of hypermobility. It's very beautiful and a lot of people want it, but it's also extremely dangerous because there's a lot of pressure that goes on all of your joints. So she actually had to learn to bend her knees a little bit to make her legs a little bit better aligned and a little bit straighter as opposed to that sway back. A lot of people think that's really beautiful and it is, but it's very difficult to maintain that kind of line without hurting yourself and without overstretching a lot of your joints. So when I see a dancer that is really hypermobile like this, I typically give them a really stable shoe. They're obviously gorgeous and they're gonna look good and no matter what I put them in, but safety is very, very important for these types of dancers. So I typically go with something that is pretty hard and something with a pretty wide platform so that we can make sure that we're showing off her beautiful feet, but at the same time, make sure that that she's not at risk to twist her ankles.
If you are scoring really high in this hypermobility, you may have something called EDS. We have a great team that deals with hypermobile dancers. Linda Bluestein and Jennifer Milner, Kristen Koskinen, they're all part of this hypermobility team that can help you navigate through your body that is very hypermobile. If you need any more resources to find out if you're hypermobile, we have a ton of people that can help you out. Reach out to us and we will connect you with all the people that you need. I'll see you guys later.